Hello everybody, my name is Nick De Jesus. I am submitting a pull request to React Native. The issue I want to address is setting up app icons. Setting up app icons with uh, React Native is not the most exciting thing to do in the world. Uh, let me walk through that real quick. With Android, you need to go into this folder with uh, MipMap. HDPI, MDPI, etc., etc., and this is where the launcher icons live. Okay, cute little Android app icons. Uh, that's there by default. For iOS, it doesn't come with any images at all. All the images you're supposed to have about, I don't know, like eight or nine different images at different sizes. It all goes right here in this folder. And then you're supposed to go in Xcode and point Xcode to those images. Uh, again, not very fun process. Um, and so what I'm using is this eject command. Um, oh, my code still commented out. Let me fix that. Uh, so you use the eject command. Um, you have to delete your... I Android and iOS folders and run React Native Eject and then from there it'll reproduce the folders um, using some of the configuration set up here in app.json. Um, so the new process now should this be um, accepted into the React Native master branch would be to drop your icon PNG into the root level of your app and then go to app.json and within the icon field uh, the, the value has to be the name of that image. That's it. You've now set up app icons successfully in your both Android and iOS app. So let's see it in action, huh? I just showed you guys um, what's there by default. We are now removing our Android folder. We're removing our iOS folder. React Native Eject. All right, cool. And you can see here we've got some logs generating iOS folder, setting up app icons. Generating Android folder, setting up app icons. Let's take a look at Android first. Source main. Boom. Remember, here was a Android app icon. Different sizes. I'm using a Sharp Sharp JS uh, to produce these images and send them to the appropriate folder. Remember, this guy had nothing in it at all. Now we've got all kinds of different images at different sizes. And then uh, contents.json is actually gets is what gets changed when you um, configure it with Xcode. Uh, it's actually usually readable by default. Uh, this could probably use some linting. Um, so yeah, now I feel like the next step, the next appropriate step, would to be React Native run iOS, and. Um, I would, I'm going to do a separate video for Android. I have like, I have to set up my Android emulator all, and all that. And so I'm not trying to make a video uh, <laughs> with me setting up that whole thing. So I'll just do, do a, a quick part two just to show that it works. So here, after React Native does its thing, you're going to see... Uh, little app icon pop up right here and it should be the react logo just giving it time to do its thing build succeeded there we go boom look at that and you guys saw inside uh, app.json I made my project some tests let's go back real quick hardware home See that? App icons. Um, 
should be working on different sizes so I should run some tests on those um, but yeah there you go there's my contribution and I will be making another video to showcase the Android side thanks for watching